Congratulations on your purchase of In the Hoop Designer. You are going to be thrilled with all of the embroidery designs that are included in the software. Click on the design icon to search the library and just scroll through to see all the goodies that are available. The animal category is filled with adorable, charming, and some realistic animals. Using the slider bar will pull the screen down and let you see all of the different uh, items that are in each category. And it is also searchable. Look at those borders, all one color, but you can play with them and turn them into two or three colors. It's a searchable library, so insert your text into that field at the bottom of the wizard, and then click on the down arrow to search the entire library for an item that is tagged with that text. Here I searched hearts, and you can see how many different hearts are tagged with that name. Once you find the one that you like, you just click OK, and you are ready to stitch. Next, let's take a look at the charm designs. You'll find this icon at the top toolbar. The charm design library is filled with petite designs. Many are just like the ones in the design library, but they're smaller sized. Perfect for adding accents to in the hoop projects like zipper bags, mug rugs, coasters, small quilt blocks, and more. Shapes are outlines and they are art files. They're not embroidery designs. You'll use the shapes to make appliques and shaped in the hoop projects. You can also use them to make satin outlines and run stitch outlines. There are 320 shapes divided into 22 different categories. Shapes is also where you will most often use the eraser tool. Let's turn this little hummingbird into a dove. With the shape file selected, click on the eraser and just remove that extended beak. Now click on shape and close that shape. And there you have a dove. You're gonna have a lot of fun with shapes.